Our modern life is filled with music, but how about music as a way of treatment? Do you think music has the power to heal you? Kendinizi rahat bırakın ve kendinizi ılık bir akarsuyun bir kolu gibi hissederek müziğin ritmiyle ve melodisiyle ana akarsuya doğru gitmekte olduğunuzu düşünün. Music has been around since the beginning of mankind, existing even before languages developed. Its effect on people has also been used to develop therapeutic methods in which music is used to address people's physical, emotional, cognitive and social needs. This is called music therapy. Here in Istanbul, doctors and therapists are using music therapy to revive comatose patients, to ease dementia and treat many other illnesses. İnsanlığın, uh Dili daha keşfetmeden önce müziği keşfinden beri başlıyor. Dünyanın her yerinde müziğin sağlıkta kullanılması. Ee, başta şarkılar söyleniyor beraber. Ee, sonra doğaçlama yapılmaya başlanıyor. Ee, Milattan bronz çağına e, dayanan uygulamalardan bahsediyorum. Ee, ardından e, o doğaçlamaya işte bir iyileştirici, e, baksı, şaman e, tabir edilen bir iyileştirici ile beraber e, yapılıyor. Then later in the 17th century, music's impact on people could be measured by blood pressure, pulse and blood circulation. And in the past 100 years, when music started to be recorded, modern music therapy emerged and evidence-based music therapy started to be applied. In terms of traditional Turkish music therapy, which has Turkic and Islamic roots, famous scholars like Al-Farabi and Avicenna wrote about how makams could cure certain illnesses a thousand years ago. O arada işte Avrupa'da içine şeytan girmiş diye insanlar zincire vurulmakta veya yakılmakta, çeşitli işkenceler görmekte içindeki şeytan çıksın düşüncesiyle. Halbuki Osmanlı'da av etleriyle beslenen, su sesiyle, enstrümanlarla, müzikle tedavi yapılan şifanelerde bu hastalar the Shifa Ayna in Edirne is one of those most famous places where music therapy was practiced during the Ottoman times. In traditional Turkish music there are around 500 makams. A makam is a musical mode unique to classic Turkish and Arabic music and it consists of a wide variety of different tone scales. So these makams are supposed to make us feel better but um, I don't know if they really help. Let's listen to some of the tunes and find out together. This one's called Rust and it says here that it's good for starting your day and it's supposed to give you joy and peace. This is Hijaz and apparently it's good for brain and bones and has the ability to actually clean toxins out of your body. And the last one is Husseini. It's apparently beneficial for the heart and can cure discomfort in your legs. So of course this was very short but some lucky patients in some of Istanbul's hospitals get to enjoy music therapy after they have surgery and we'll go now meet two doctors who practice music therapy to their patients at IC units. Professor Binger Sönmez and Dr. Erol Can have been the first doctors to revive this ancient complementary therapy in a modern IC unit. I've taken all the precautions to enter the IC unit, now let's go listen to some music. One of the most important aspects of music therapy is that it's tailor-made, meaning that it's specifically designed for the needs of the patient. In any uh, intensive care, you can play a music, you can play a CD, and five of the patients could listen to the same music, but it, it, it doesn't work. It's because it's personal. One patient is anxiety, one patient is agitated, one patient is depressed. After the doctors perform music therapy on their ICU patients who have just had surgery, they are visibly relaxed and there is a definite drop in one of the patient's blood pressure. Zaten müziği ruhun gıdasız yollar ya boşuna değil mi? Ben müziği zaten dinleyeyim hiçbir şeyim kalmaz. 
But how does music therapy actually work? What really happens in the brain to make it effective? Beyinde yaptığı etkiler artık ölçülebiliyor. Ya magnetik rezonans renkli fonksiyonel magnetik rezonansla belli bir merkezler uyarıldığı görülüyor. Ya da onun sentezlediği mutluluk hormonları dediğimiz oksitosin, serotonin, vazopresin, adrenalin ve endorfinler bunların etkisi has insanı, kişiyi daha mutlu yapıyor, ağrı kesici etkisi var. Yani bir narkotik almış gibi hafif bir euforiye ye de götürebiliyor. Turkish music therapy was also studied in a neurology project conducted at the Meidling Clinic in Vienna where some patients were actually observed emerging from a comatose state. But it's not just used in IC units with quick applications. It's also used as a long-term treatment model for those who suffer from dementia and for children with autism or speech impediments. Music is a wonderful tool to uh, open up people. I ask each person, each uh, client, and uh, one of them said, I come uh, here to Chapa from Pandik, which is very far away, um, uh, using public transportation. And he said that I usually miss my stop. I uh, get, get off like after two stops, three stops, when I notice that I uh, am too far. Uh, and throughout the uh, sessions, uh, once he said, uh, I'm not missing it anymore. There are more than 300 courses around the world which offer music therapy education as a university or higher degree, and there are more than 20,000 music therapists who practice music therapy based on their local cultures. Uh, we always respect the complementary medicine. Not alternative medicine. Medicine doesn't have any alternative. That's complementary medicine. We always like it. It really helps, it works, so why shouldn't we do it? So what do you think? How important is music in your life? And would you ever consider giving it a chance to let it heal you?